Hey guys, it's that Lacanan here, and today is the second video in a series that I'm trying to do when I have time. I have come across some time recently, I have quit college, um, and I'm starting work next week, but that's a whole different video which I'm going to explain later on. But this video is going to explain my top 5 tips when flying the Hummingbird for transport purposes in Arm 3, whether that's King of the Hill, Wasteland, or a co-op mission. I hope you guys enjoy. My number one rule for flying any rotary aircraft in Armour 3 has been covered in my last video. Um, if you want to check that out, there's an annotation on the screen. It is auto-rotation, which basically means when you lose engine power, you can survive. Uh, so click on the annotation if you want to learn how to auto-rotate. two is to plan your LZs and I know that it sounds tedious, it sounds boring, but it will help and after you do it once or twice you'll start to learn the approach lines, where to kill speed, where to do this, where to do that, and there's hundreds, so there's tons of different LZs you can choose from. It, I'm showing on screen a couple of my favourites, um, some of them are a bit more technical than others, and um, but all of them are will do the job and as an infantryman you want to get into the zone as fast as possible you want to get those points as fast as possible so I tend to put them right in the action um, as you can see by my LCs. Rule number three is to make sure your LZs are as fast and snappy as possible. This is for multiple reasons. You can get your points quicker, your money quicker, you can get your team into the zone quicker, but also there is one drawback and that is safety. You need to consider safety because if you fuck up, your team will let you know, they won't get off your back for a while, you'll have to defend yourself against the whole team and you've got to kind of defend your honour, but you got to compromise it, so you got to go slow enough so that you know what you're doing, that you don't fuck up, and fast enough so that you can get your team to the zone. So it's a compromise really, it's kind of a seesaw type of deal. My fourth tip is to get the right perks, and I run the engineer, the launcher, and the explosives. The engineer, obviously, if I go down in the zone, if I get hit by AA, then I can auto-rotate, land, repair, and then take off again and go and do the same thing again. I also take a launcher because if there's no passengers to pick up, then I can always go on a hill and look for tanks or hard targets to shoot at. And um, the explosive perk gives me another, another rocket so I can kill bigger tanks like T-100s and stuff. My fifth and final tip is to make sure you're on the right server and the right team. You gotta understand that if there's not many people in the zone on one team, that means they need transportation. So you can go onto that team, they'll probably be losing if they don't have many people in the zone, and then you can turn that game around. A good hummingbird pilot can turn the game around for a team, along with good infantry tactics and good close quarter skills. And you've gotta realize this, and a hummingbird pilot can really change the game around as well as earn a lot of money. So let me know guys if you want to watch this video next or this video, I'm going to try and do it as soon as I can. Um, or if you have any suggestions for other videos, let me know because I will of course make them eventually. And I'm going to try and get on it more because I'm going to have a bit more free time now. So thank you for watching guys, I appreciate it. Peace.